Hey guys, you probably weren't uh, expecting me to do that this quick, you know, because since I'm just so bad with the timing. But the good thing is, I have a new figure, and obviously by the title, you know who it is. But I was very excited because I went to Walmart and I saw they had a bunch of new of Marvel Legends and. They had the No Way Home Wave there. There was a few that I was tempted to get, but this one I really wanted to get because I don't have a Doctor Strange. And he's like, like I can't picture the Avengers without him anymore, so it's like I really needed this character. Um, almost got the Integrated Suit. I almost got Shriek. I almost got Hammerhead from the Retro Wave, and I almost got the Armed Spider-Man from the Retro Wave. Now, if there was a Ben Riley Spider-Man there, he would have absolutely blown everything out of the water and I would have bought him but he wasn't there so here we are we are looking at Doctor Strange today this is Spider-Man No Way Home and by the way there may be some slight spoilers it's a spoiler warning there is the obviously the movie logo and there's Doctor Strange you got nice picture of Benedict Cumberbatch shows Doctor Strange on both sides and you got the MCU spider logo at least before he got the new suit at the end of the white home. There's another picture and there's all the figures in the wave. Um, my order will probably be like the integrated suit, Miles, Shriek, the black and gold suit, and J. John Jameson. I actually might complete this build a figure because it's kind of cool. All right, so Doctor Strange. I don't think I need in any introduction, but I'll read the read up nonetheless. Possessing vast magical knowledge and skills to call upon, Earth's master of Mystic Garth steps onto the battlefield. And here is Doctor Strange. So I guess without further ado, we should start with the accessories. And I'll even take off the accessories that are on him. I guess if you kind of wanted like a like a student strange this could work but that's not what we're here for so he still has this little uh eye of agamotto thing um the thing is is that my guess is that even though the stone was taken out of it it still is just a necklace that he just has around his you know around, around him um and then here's the here's the cloak i wish this did have bendy wire in it not just because of effect but because you know the cloak is kind of alive itself but got all these little details in there it's kind of hard to see on camera kind of see it more closely got lines and stuff you got a pig in the back there that pegs into the back and then with the hands that he comes with which are these kind of like open hands you've got like these more like i don't know pinching hands of some sort like holding hands of some sort and then of course you have Two magical hands um they're the same effect i think pretty much just shrunken down for one and in fact i think are they the same hands as these mm, no i don't think they are no they're slightly different but so yeah i guess i'll put all the all the stuff on him you know, and there is a peg for the cape, or for the cloak, I mean. I guess by technical accuracy that would work too, but. And there you go, so. Take a look at him. As you can see, he's got basically everything that... There's a dust piece there. Um, as you can see, it's basically what Dr. Strange looks like. He got the little sash. He got the slain ring there. Got whatever that is with all the metal there. All the little, like, details and wrinkles all over the outfit. And you got brown or and, like, what, and different colored wraps around these bracelets. Um, the legs are fairly plain, and they're, and we'll get into this in the articulation later, but it's really hard to move them because this is a really solid piece. Um, 
I think I have boots with some detail on them because I got some buckles and whatnot. Um, and then obviously, gotta take a close look up at the face. This is probably the best Benedict Cumberbatch has a couple I've seen in a Marvel Legend. And it looks really, really good. Um, I think this is one of the better uh, Doctor Strange figures they've made. I would have waited until the Doctor Strange for the um, Multiverse of Madness wave, but the thing with me is that um, he, he's connected to a build a figure wave that you know I want. I kind of want the build a figure now. And the other one doesn't have a build a figure piece, and it would save me from getting a second one. Now I'm still gonna get end up getting a second Doctor Strange because there's a there's the Doctor Strange Supreme from What If, and I want that. But that's different because that's a different universe. But yeah, so guess without further ado, it's time to look at the articulation. So his head can look up and that's not hindered by the cape or anything um and look down that much and look side to side he's got tilt his shoulders go outward that far he got a bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows he's got a wrist swivel and a hinge in and out he's got a kind of like a diaphragm joint we can bend that far backwards that far forwards and it can tilt and twist his legs can move up that far. They do have double jointed knees, although I'm sure it's hard for you to see that. They do. Um, they are not pinless, but considering it's hidden by that the sash, I'm not surprised. He's got boot swivel. His ankles move down. They move up. And he's got ankle pivot. And yeah, I really like this... Uh, Doctor Strange figure. I'm very happy to have one finally. Because I don't have a Doctor Strange. Um, so I guess like real quick. What I could do. Is I could show off. One of the. Effect hands. And it is articulated as well. So there you go. A very, very awesome effect pieces. They're very simple, but I think they work. Now, obviously, could they have added like more like effect things? Yeah, but I am honestly not worried about it. So, so probably be kind of similar to how you'll stand on my shelf until I get a uh, stand. But even then, I don't know how I'm gonna get. Hit the stand, unless I find something that's small enough to like grab its leg, grab his leg or something. But I don't know. I do have some comparisons I could do. I should have two. So, but um, or three actually. These are the only other Marvel Legends I have over here. Got uh, a comic. Yeah, so you won't... Uh, so this is the cop, uh, comic Captain America. I can't... I don't exactly have a... Stable place to show. Like I said, I should probably get a studio or like a better place to record. But, uh, but yeah, there's that. Got a classic comic Iron Man in case you want that team up. I want some Tony Stark and uh, Doctor Strange action. And then you've got another movie figure. Um, we just realized there's another one I could show. Um, which is the Infinity War Captain America. So you could do that. And there's one more.
which is uh, but uh, but yeah. So that is the uh, that is the this is the final move figure I have, although they have not put a side together yet. Um, here is Deadpool and Doctor Strange. In case you want some of that. <laughs> Can't imagine what it would be like, but there you go. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Did I not show this off? I don't think I showed this off. Here's the armadillo head. And if I complete the build figure, hopefully I will actually start completing it. You'll get that too. And I will be not against it because... I'm happy with whatever villains I get, even if it's, like, really unknown villains. Because if the amount of villains you can have can never be too many. Because you need many to do different poses and different pictures. And, you know, if you're into stop motion, different fights. So, but yeah. So he, that is the Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange figure. Um... And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, this review, and I will catch you in the next one, whatever that next one may be. Who knows, maybe it'll be the Ben Riley Spider-Man. Peace.